Okay, so I'm back with Find Lover Died Triangle, like I said, and I want to go for a different ending this time. So if I didn't choose Violet, my second choice would have been Yui. So I love you, Yui. Yui. Mm -hmm. Woo, loading screen right away, just like usual. And we're back in the hospital. I woke up in an unfamiliar room. Is the room shaking? Is that just supposed to be the rocking from the boat or something? I tried to get up. Ow, fuck. I looked down to my body. I'd been bandaged up enough to look like a mummy. Getting shot twice will do that to you. But I'm alive. Or however many times I just get. I know it's at least twice. Key, you're up. Yui rushed to my side and hugged me tightly. Oh, so Yui is the first one there this time. Last time Violet was the first one there. I can't tell you how happy I am to see you again. It's great to see you again, Yui. Really, you need to be more careful. Ah, uh, why? We'll have a talk about this later. But, I'll let you off this time. One second, I gotta tell everyone the good news. You ran off and came back a few moments later. I could have told them. Uh, yep, here's everyone. You had us worried, T. I'm so glad to see you are alright. You didn't make it easy to save you, either. Oh, and, if you find yourself craving brains or bananas, that's entirely unrelated to how I treated you. Oh yeah, totally. We're not gonna become a zombie. I'm just thankful it worked. It's so good to see you safe and sound, T. If you died after all we've been through, I'd kill you. You'd kill me? But I'm really happy that you're here for me to say that, too. You did great, T. The Resistance could use someone, somebody like you. I don't know, I'd join, but I don't know if I will in the endings that aren't alleys, it's hard to tell. because. Besides, it doesn't look like you have a real job anymore, huh? Thanks, guys. You really stuck out your neck to save Cat and I, and I can never thank you enough. It's what you would do for us, T. Indeed, we ran after you two just moments after you'd left. There was no point in us escaping if it wasn't with you, T. Yeah, I know Cat said not to, but hey. I didn't remember that at the time, so it's all good. By the way, Kat's doing well too. She's resting in the room next door. We even managed to save the Brothers Five, too. I couldn't just let them be stranded after, well, all that we've been through together. That would be kind of rude just leaving them to die. That's great news. Thanks for letting me know. So it never says if Damien was died, if Damien died, I assume Kat killed him. I should be thanking you. None of us would have made it off the island if it wasn't for you and Kat. It's true, despite whatever you may hear Tara say. I'm just saying, I have a pretty mean right hook. It's so good to see you all again. I've got no idea what the world ahead has for each of us, but whatever it has in store, we'll face it together. You bet. Whatever comes, we'll be right by each other, facing it head on. I'm surprised you can say that with a straight face, but yes, I wouldn't have it any other way. I could really use you as a PR person for the Resistance, T. You've got a thing for speeches. Wait a minute. If everyone's here, and Cat's next door, who's driving the boat? Everyone looked at Terra. And that's a series exit for Terabyte. <laughs> I still like that nickname for herself. She ran off like a cartoon character. We laughed together. It felt like it's been so long since we could just laugh. No cameras. No fear. Just friends fooling around. Anyway, it's so good to see you're okay. That said, team, we need to give T some time to rest. Once again, I'm not trying to quarantine you because we didn't use the zombie virus's unique potent properties to save you. Thanks, Scarlet. And thank you, everybody, for coming to see me. Don't mention it. We're all in this together and all that, right? See you later, T. Alright, alright, enough of the cheese. Get out before T turns. I mean, before T needs rest? Yes, why well, she's trying to hide it anyway, it's obvious. And with that, I was alone. I like the little colors I use, like this lightish purple-ish white, or p whatever you call it, but it goes from like a blue to a purplish pink thing. Woo, I thought they'd never leave. Hey Scarlet, what's up? Nothing, I, I just need to cure me. She was hiding a syringe behind her back. Oh yay, shots again. Need to give you a shot for... Good luck. Eh, they were probably bad luck. 
Right. I put my arm out forward. Well, the doctor knows best. I'm not a doctor. She injected the good luck into my arm. I just wanted to say thanks again. I, my life went off the rails back at the island, even before the show. That's putting it lightly. She laughed. I know if I stayed there, I never would have been truly happy for the rest of my life. I never would have been able to help people ever again. So, thank you again, T. You, you've been out, so there's no way you'd know, but today's the day that would have been the last day of the show. The final ceremony where you ask one of the girls to be with you. Now, I'm not saying anyone's rushing for a proposal, but I think someone wants to hear an answer from you. And she's been waiting a long, long time to hear from you. From before most of us even had met. Thanks, Scarlet. So she knows I'm choosing whoever. It's my pleasure. She kissed me on the cheek. She's on the deck. And then I was alone in the room. It's time to go see her. Oh, I actually get to go to the deck this time. Oh, I like that sunset behind her. And the birds up in the corner. Hey. Hey there, T. Whoa, shouldn't you be resting? I'll be fine. I've gone all night to sleep it off. If you say so. Come here. You've got to see the view. It does look nice from what I can see behind her. You you reach for my hand. I clasped hers tight. Come on, come on. She pulled me with her to the side of the deck. You can never see a view like this back in the country. No, not really. Something about it just fills me with hope. I live in the countryside and I know you can't have an ocean, su ocean view in West Virginia. Maybe it's silly to say, but it makes me feel like anything could happen if we try. Then maybe things will work out the way we dream they do. After escaping together, I know how you feel, Yui. I, I'm not so sure. Here goes. T. I love you. I've loved you since the day we met, before all this. I never thought I'd get the chance to meet you again, but here we are. There's nothing I want more than just a life with you. Unrequited love would be a sad thing to hold on for all these years thinking you'd never meet him again. Like, I know, that'd probably just get sad after a while. Especially if you don't move on. Anyway, sorry for ruining the happy moments. You make me feel like anything's possible. And you make me feel like I'm floating on a cloud every moment we're together. I, I know that all the other girls are amazing too. But I, yeah, I can't choose you all, unfortunately. I pulled her close and kissed her before she could finish. She kissed me with everything she had. For a moment, it was like we were the only people in the world. I love you too, Yui. You're the only one I'd ever want to be with. When I thought there was no chance of us making it out of there, you always lifted my spirits back up. You make me laugh and smile like I've never before, and I've never been happier than when I'm with you. You were always there for me, and I'm always going to be there for you, too. This isn't a dream, right? No, I'm, I'll pinch myself to make sure. No, it'd be real. It's as real as it gets, Yui. This is the happiest I've ever been in my whole life. It's going to be my goal to break that record every chance that I get. Uh, pinch me. I already pinched myself for you. I've got a better idea. I kissed Yui once more. We held each other in kisses as if it was our last day on Earth. Ah, uh, don't say that. We got close enough that it'd be my last day on Earth. Here's to making you the happiest woman that's ever been, Yui. I love you. And that's the end of her ending. Oh, and time to be quiet again. Okay, so, like I did last time, I want to go back into that just so the music's not all the way in the way, but I liked that ending as well. It did make me happy to see it. Like I said, she, if I didn't choose Violet, she was my top choice otherwise. 
Next, I don't know who I'm going to choose, but I'm going to try to get all the endings. Anyway, that's all the time I have for this part, so goodbye for now.